So, up to this point we have programmed our objects by dragging scripts directly into them. But you should probably also know how to control multiple objects from a single script. Now, if you know you're only going to control position, rotation, and scale, you could probably use transform variables. But today, I'm just going to show you game object variables instead. Right now, we just have a basic rotate script attached to this object here. But what if we wanted to control a different object from this script? Well, it's easy. Remember, any time you want to control something, you make a variable for it. We want to control an object. So our variable is going to be a game object. And just to make it easy for you to see, we are going to name it Anna. Because last time I went to a Starbucks, Anna made awesome coffee. So save, and in the inspector, drag whatever object you want to control into your game object variable. Okay, so this code controls the object it's attached to. And that's why when we run the game, the only thing that spins is itself. But how do we get this code to affect the object that we've dragged into our variable? Well, here's the trick. You add the name of the variable to the front of the code. And now if you run the game, you will see that this object is being controlled even though it doesn't have any scripts attached. If you drag a different object object into that variable, that object will be affected by the code instead. Now this is useful because if you have an object with many moving parts, instead of programming and dragging code into each part separately, you can create one code that controls the movement for everything. Anyway, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.